Mila and I'm from Germany. I've been interning here at the Jewish Museum since early September as a part of an international voluntary service organized by a German NGO called ARSP. The object I chose to talk about is this painting, which carries the title Procession of the Law. It dates back to the early 20th century and was painted by a Jewish artist called Alexander Solomon Hart. What has really intrigued me about this painting is that it portrays such an important and traditional part of Jewish life and that it contains so many details relevant to the Jewish culture that however just become visible when looking at the painting really closely. This painting depicts a festival called Simha Torah. On Simha Torah, which literally translated means rejoicing of the Torah, Jewish people celebrate reading the Torah scroll for one year and are about to start reading it for the next year. On this day, all Torah scrolls are taken out of the Ark, which is a usually elaborately decorated cupboard that can be found in every synagogue. The Torahs are then paraded around the synagogue, and this very act clearly forms the focus of this painting. Being one of the most important festivals in the Jewish year, Simcha Torah is a very happy and a very joyous occasion, which usually involves big celebrations in every synagogue. That's also why all people shown in this painting can be seen clearly directed towards the big Torah, the clear centerpiece here. This effect is furthermore reinforced as the light strikes just the Torah, furthermore illuminating and highlighting the importance of the Jewish holy book, while simultaneously creating a very festive and a very special atmosphere. All Torah scrolls portrayed in this picture are vastly decorated, with so-called rimanin on top. Rimanin which means pomegranate in Hebrew, are tiny bells which are placed on top of the Torah scrolls and which probably make a sound as the men walk them through the synagogue. This painting was painted in 1845, but depicts a period much earlier. What has really surprised me is that even though it portrays an Italian synagogue, it has so many elements in it that could just as well be found in any synagogue here in the UK. The men are all wearing talit, prayer shawls, and these are fringed. In fact, the number of fringes of a talit is 613, which equals the number of commandments that can be found in the Torah. They also all have their heads covered. Some are wearing what looks to be like elaborate turbans, while others are wearing kippahs, which do look very similar to a kippah we would see today. In fact, I went to a synagogue myself a couple of weeks ago. What I particularly noticed was that all men, as well as all women, had their heads covered with all sorts of scarves and hats. Another detail worth paying attention to is that this painting has only men in it. All men can be therefore found downstairs, holding the service and handing the Torah, while the women are very likely to be upstairs, hidden behind the balcony. The one time I went to a synagogue myself, I therefore also had to sit in a separate congregation upstairs. I chose this painting as I like how it physically represents such a symbolic and meaningful tradition. It's full of small elements and hidden details that all come together to illustrate one of the most important festivals in the Jewish year.